Hi folks, this is Danny Jugan. In this video, I want to cover how to utilize the play editor and playbook editor within the PC mods if you want to set up a custom sim league or share your created plays and created playbooks with others. So first thing, make sure mods are turned on. So inside of settings, data, make sure mods are turned on. And if you haven't already, you'll need to restart your computer excuse me, restart the application um, to get mods um, set up and loaded when you start. Once mods are turned on, I want to show you the directory that all of that stuff is going to exist. You browse to where the game is installed and you'll find a mods folder. Inside of that mods folder, you're going to find uh, a few different things. Um, you've got your coach portraits, um, player portraits, team mods. We're gonna focus on plays and playbooks. So playbooks existed in the 2024 version, uh, but none of those playbooks are gonna be compatible with the 2026 version. Uh, for various reasons, mostly due to the fact that none of those plays exist in the 26 version. All of the plays are completely uh, revamped, new formations, everything. And so all of your, your playbooks are going to want to be redone for the 26 version. And so with the um, play editor, let's start there first. Whenever you create a play, if you have mods turned on, those plays are also going to be written to files inside of your mods folder. And so there's a play for defensive custom plays, excuse me, a folder for defensive plays and a folder for custom offensive plays. Those plays are going to be there. Now, if you've created a bunch of plays but you didn't have mods turned on, simply turn on mods, go into your play editor and exit back out and it will write all of the plays that you have two files so if you forgot to turn mods on before you created a bunch of plays no big deal uh, again simply turn mods on load up the play editor and exit out you don't have to open the plays just go into the play editor exit out and it will write them to files each play is going to be on a separate file now you can go in here and mess with these but most of the stuff isn't going to make a whole lot of sense um, leave the values as is. They are text files, so you can edit them, but you should have no need to do that. When you load up uh, the game, so when you start the game, if you have mods turned on, the way it works is it's going to look inside all of these folders for offensive and defensive plays, and it will load those plays into the game. Now, if you have plays that exist in your normal um, save game data, and they also exist inside of the mods folder, it won't create the play twice. Um, so if it finds a duplicate, it'll simply skip over it. But this would allow you to take these plays and send them to a friend. He could drop them into his offensive plays folder, and those are gonna get loaded into his game and available for him to use. Uh, same thing on the defensive side. We've got one defensive play that we've created, um, and that is going to exist right here. You can see exactly um, how that's set up there. Um, then what you're going to do, once you have plays loaded in, you can load up your playbook editor and do the same thing. Uh, and so anything with an M next to it is a modded playbook. Anything with a D is a default playbook. These are ones that come in um, by default with the game. Again, these M's are ones that exist inside of these mods folders. So here we've got one offensive and one defensive folder. So we here's our mod defensive playbook, and then here's our uh, modded offensive playbook. And then all we do, um, you can go in here and add any of the custom plays that you have in the game. You can save it, and then when you export this, um, which it's a modded playbook, so there's no need to export it. It's automatically going to get saved. Um, when you send this playbook, and I'll show you exactly how this works. Um, when you send this playbook to whomever's gonna be running your league or whoever you wanna share it with, it's automatically going to pick up those custom plays that you have done as long as that person also has those plays inside of the plays mod folder. 
okay? And so the way the playbooks are set up, these zeros and ones corresponds to formation and plays within the formation. And so all of these right here, that's going to be the first base and sub formation. And so if we go into the air raid, what this means is all of the goal line jumbo plays, because there's a one there, are added, okay? If I uncheck this one and save it, and then exit out of here, when we go back into that playbook, you'll notice now there's a zero, and that zero corresponds to the play that we unchecked, okay? And so these are all the formations. And again, you don't necessarily need to uh, know that or be able to edit these manually, but I did want to point out what happens at the very end. At the very end, uh, there are play IDs that correspond to custom plays that are created. And so this particular formation, excuse me, this particular playbook has two of the custom plays on offense that were created. All right, and we can see those IDs listed here. And so the way it works is, let me pull this back up. Whenever the game loads up a playbook, it's going to also search for these two plays to see if they exist. So again, as long as, go back to the mods folder, plays, offense, as long as those plays exist, it's going to pull them in and make those available. All right. So long story short, if you want to be able to create custom plays and then create a custom playbook that uses those custom plays, all you have to do is make sure you have mods turned on, make sure those files exist in both the plays and the playbook folder, and then send both of those uh, folders or files within the folders to whoever you want to share it with. They'll simply drop them inside of their own uh, mods folders and be able to utilize them there. So that's going to allow for sim leagues. Um, teams can create their own plays and playbooks and utilize those to kind of create their own strategy and do lots of good stuff there. So I hope this um, is helpful. I hope this guys gives you guys the tools that you need in order to run the leagues the way that you want to. Uh, looking forward to hearing feedback and I will talk to you soon.